There are many diseases caused by mosquitoes, such as chikungunya, dengue, Nile West fever, including Zika. However, Zika causes much more adverse effect, such as small-headed babies, mental disorders, and many more. To date, 80 countries have been recorded with the Zika cases. Therefore, in my research, I aim to build a small chip, probably smaller than the size of my palm, to diagnose Zika in a patient. Picture A in here is a DNA. Now question, what is DNA? All of us, human, animal, bacteria, and some viruses have DNA. Let's say DNA is a long string which carry all your important information, such as color of your eyes, the way you look like, and all your cellular activities. Similarly, Zika has its own DNA, which is a troublemaker in a human body. When a person is infected with Zika virus, Everything, blood, saliva, even the urine contains Zika DNA. Picture B in here is a chip I'm working on. When a small amount of saliva or urine is introduced to the chamber, uh, in the chamber, the magnetic bead present in this chamber will carry the DNA on its surface and under the influence of magnetic field, they will start moving towards the resulting chamber. These two washing chamber will wash the beads to remove the debris, making sure only DNA goes to the resulting chamber. The resulting chamber will be at 68 degrees Celsius with the help of a small heater and will also carry a solution which would specifically detect Zika DNA. If there is a Zika DNA, it will make a multiple copies and change the color of the solution to something like this. If there is no DNA, the solution will remain colorless. Now the next big question. What are the benefits of having this chip? Why this chip? So the answer is, this chip will give you results within 30 minutes and we do not need big and expensive equipment. It will also eliminate the requirement of a trained personnel to carry out this test. In addition to this, this chip is made up of plastic, which will cost less than $2, making it accessible to the people who cannot afford expensive tests. Just imagine. This will be a big breakthrough in the healthcare system, especially in the developing countries. Thank you.